Okay guys, here's a quick instructional video on how to assemble the 285 CSS 013 steel girder bridge in 285th scale. It's very simple. There's uh, two side pieces that are identical. There's the uh, top piece, the road deck, and two bits of uh, sidewalk, which are these are actually optional. If you're going to use this as a railway bridge, you may or may not want to use these. Um, but when we get into assembling it, uh, I'll show you where they go and why you might want to include them anyways. Okay, first thing you need to do is take your road deck there, get out a little bit of your tacky glue, and we'll put a little bit on the tabs here. And then on the slots that these tabs go into, okay, what I like to do is lay this down flat and then bring the road into it. Let's see if we turn here so we can. You guys can see. Bring the road into it. Now I'm going to show you here why I like tacky glue. This, while it's not completely glued, it's not falling off either. It's it's holding a little bit there. Our normal white glue may not do that. Okay, now I got that on there. While I got this sitting this way, I'm just going to put a little block here to keep it 90. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these uh, sidewalks in right now because it's a lot easier to do right now while the other side and the top are off. Just a little bead of glue all the way down. And then right up against the side here. And a little bit of glue there. Just wipe that off. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so we got one side on with the road deck and a uh, and the sidewalk. Next thing I want to do is set that aside for just a second. This is the top piece that goes on here. I didn't bring an X-Acto knife over here, so I'm going to pause and go run and get one. Okay. Now, on this top piece, right across the middle here, there's a scored line. What we want to do is we want to take our X-Acto knife and cut that a little deeper. Not all the way through. If you do cut all the way through, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. But I just want to score it a little deeper so that this bends right on that score line. So what we've got is a little bit of an angle here. What we're doing is we're, we're copying the angle of this top piece here. Right there. So now I'll turn this on its side. I'll put some glue. Now this piece doesn't have any kind of tabs or anything to locate it, so you're kind of on your own with this one. But it's so simple, I, I think you guys can handle it. Okay, now, just kind of run that along the top there. And again, we see the magic of the tacky glue. It's kind of holding it there. And I'm just wiping off a little bit of the extra glue so I don't have to deal with it later. <laughs> okay, now, we've got that bit done. Um, take a little piece of anything. And I got a little bit of glue right there. I'll just wipe that off. Okay. Now while we've got that there, this is the other side that goes on here. So what I want to do is just do just like I did before. Glue the little tabs. And 
and the bottom of the slots that these little tabs will go up into. And then, you either put a little bit of glue on here or right here. I know where it's going right here, so I'll just go ahead and put it here. Not a lot. Come on, but some. There we go. And then we just take this, put it in there. Just let it lay down. Make sure this is lined up real nice along the top. Wipe off any extra glue that's oozing out. And then the last little bit is the second sidewalk. One's a little trickier because we're putting it in after it's all assembled, but still there's nothing to it. Just kind of fish it through here. Lay it down. Just reach in there and push it down. And Voila. That's it. That was done in real time. I'm not going to edit this video to make it seem faster. That is how long it takes. Now I'll just let this glue dry, maybe a half hour at the most, and then I'm going to come along and do the uh, sanding sealer to, to uh, coat the whole thing and make it even stronger. And then I'm going to use the vinyl spackling to close up these little gaps down here where the uh, tabs and, and grooves are. And once that's done, spray it with some primer. And uh, this one I'll actually just stay primer color. I just want it gray, like the last one I did, and then I'll do a little weathering on it. But there you go, in uh, just a couple of minutes, I'm not even sure how many it was, probably four or five minutes at the most, completely assembled model. I just let it sit here, let the glue dry, and we got it. I'll just show you this is the uh, this is the finished one that I've already done and that's what this one here will look like when it's painted up and weathered Again, I'm just going to spray it with a gray primer and leave it gray paint the road black and then just do a little rust weathering here and there and that's it